P is negative. Suppose K equals negative lambda square where lambda is a real number. We have the auxiliary equations obtained as m square plus lambda square equals 0 and m plus alpha square lambda square equals 0. Solving the auxiliary equations we get m equals plus minus lambda i for this auxiliary equation and m equal minus alpha square lambda square from this auxiliary equation and corresponding to these roots we have capital X equals c4 cos lambda x plus c5 sin lambda x obtained as the solution. Corresponding to this value of m we have solution obtained as capital T equals c6 e raised to negative alpha square lambda square t. Capital X is expressed as function on independent variable small x and capital T is expressed as function on independent variable small t. In this case we have the solution obtained as u of x t equals capital X into capital T equal c4 cos lambda x plus c5 sin lambda x multiplied to c6 e raised to minus alpha square lambda square t. Last case is for k equal 0. In this case we have the differential equations rewritten as d square x by dx square equal 0 and dt by dt equal 0. When you integrate both sides of this equation twice with respect to x you get the solution as capital X equals c7x plus c8 and when you integrate both sides of this equation with respect to t you obtain capital T equal constant c9 and thus we have solution u of x t equals c7x plus c8 multiplied to c9. Looking at the three possible solutions obtained we will write the solution consistent with real life or physical nature as u of x t equals a cos lambda x plus b sin lambda x multiplied to e raised to negative alpha square lambda square t. The speciality of this solution is that it involves periodic functions. Also, since we have under normal condition, temperature distribution of a body is inversely proportional to time. And we have u of x t is the temperature distribution and t occurs along with a negative sign. Thus, we have the desired condition satisfied and thus this is selected as the most suitable solution. Looking at the expression of one dimensional heat equation we have dou u by dou t equals alpha square times dou square u by dou x square. The term dou u by dou t shows that we will require one initial condition and the term dou square u by dou x square shows that we require two boundary conditions for solving problems. We have the boundary conditions obtained as u of 0 t equals a of t and u of l t equals b of t u of 0 t where x equals 0 stands for temperature distribution at the beginning of the straight road we have considered and u of l t where x equals l indicates temperature distribution at the end point of the road because we have considered rod is of total length l thus we have a of t and b of t denote end temperature distribution of the road we are considering initial condition is given by u of x 0 equals f of x which indicates temperature distribution at t equals 0 and this is known as initial temperature distribution or initial distribution of temperature. 